Hi, welcome to John of All Trades. In this video, we are doing part two of our three part videos on a little bit more of the advanced settings on your Verbal Throttle. So in part one, we did the access to buttons where we could we set it up to where your you have your cutoff, you roll it forward, and it kicks you into your idle mode, starts your engines. And in this one, we're going to be doing the exact opposite of the end. We're going to be setting it up to where you have your virtual afterburner. I know when I play, it's real easy to get into that afterburner. There's no mechanical detent on the verbal throttle, at least this version of the verbal throttle. So I'm going to get DCS fired up and we'll get started. Welcome back. So here we are in the F-15C. I just have it trimmed out and flying here. And what you're going to want to do is roll your throttle forward until you get into the afterburners. So you're just going to keep slowly rolling forward. Go to your outside view. Kind of look at the engines here. And there's the afterburner there. So we're going to slowly back off. Just out of the afterburner, roll in. Okay, so we're right on the limit there. Perfect. So now don't touch your throttle at all. Leave it sitting. And we can go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and close our DCS here. Yes. So that's all you have to do within DCS. So now we're going to load up our verbal joystick setup, VPC joystick setup. Now right here you have several VPC devices connected. We recommend disconnecting. So I do have my joystick and throttle connected. So it's a very good idea. Actually, it's a must. You need to unplug whichever devices you're not using. So for me, there we go. So now all I have is my throttle plugged in. We're gonna click OK. And the reason you wanna do that is for some reason, if this I've heard horror stories of breaking your system. So in other words, if it messes up with the firmware update, especially if you do a firmware update, the software, anytime you're doing any kind of changes to your actual firmware in your devices, whether it be a throttle, whether it be a regular base, pedals, you must only have one connected in at once. If you do not, chances are you can lock it up and then it will be pretty much just a paperweight. Nothing else you can do with it. So, and one other thing I wanted to point out, if you ever get in there, this is the light mode. So if you ever get in, load into your software and this is all you see is your firmware profile access. This is all just your light mode, very basic setup. You wanna come up here and click pro. That enables us to work within our other buttons and LEDs and whatnot. So you can see here, this was our access to buttons. That was, once again, we went over that in video one. I'll link a description. I'll put a link in the description below for that video. And now we're gonna be working on the opposite side to your virtual detents primary and throttle. So you can see here, our throttle is at 80% right now. That's where we went into the game and we found out exactly where the afterburner kicks on. So now that we have that number, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna go axis one and axis two. You must do both of them. You cannot just set one at a time. Both throttles have to be set. We're gonna leave this at hold off. Your low zone, you want to set to at least 2%. The reason why is if you have it set at one or less, your access to buttons for your off idle or fuel cut to idle will, will not work. In the high, we're gonna set this at 79%. 
we want to be just under that 80%. So we'll do the same thing, 2, and then over here. You can scroll up and down if you want. I'm just going to punch in 79. Okay. Now we're going to come down here, and we're going to switch to on, and we're going to switch this one to on. And now we have to go over to our here. So we're going to switch over here to button. If you flip for, you can put it on any button you want. So you see you got your buttons lighting, lighting up. You just have to remember what button it is. We're going to flip up and down. Okay, so we have 43 and 44. If you look over on our encoders, on our physical buttons here, you will notice that there is no 43. Only 844. So we need to set this up on 44. So we'll go to Axis and Action Button 44, Action Button 44 and save okay so now if we look at our values up here we can see that they're at 79 percent even with the throttle all the way forward if you roll all the way back it goes to two percent so it locks you out keeps you in between 2 and 79. So this means your afterburners will not kick on. Now if we flip T2 up, you can see now it lets you go to 100% and all the way down to 0. So we've now set it up to where with switch T2 up would be at 100%, down would be at 79%. So just real quick, let's change that. If you want set on let's say b1 so we'll hit b1 you can see that switch 49 we'll come up here to axis we're going to switch this to 49 and this one to 49 let's save again Okay, now here we go. So we're at 79 again. So one thing to note, if you push on B1, sorry, bump the camera, B1, we go to 100%. As soon as you let off, we drop back to 79. So that's not going to work. You know, you can't, unless you want to sit here and after burner, you know, with your finger here. Now you can change it to a button that you can reach with your pinky or one of your thumb buttons here. So you can have it where if you just want to hold it down, then you'll get afterburner. You let off, you don't have afterburner. That for me doesn't work. I fly a lot in the A10C. I fly a lot in the Warbirds. So to have a button set up there would be a little more difficult. Now it's real simple. If you do want to keep it on a button, we come over here to where it says on, and we're going to switch this to TGL. That stands for toggle. And if we save it now, So saving. Okay, so we're at 79. So now you'll see if we push B1 and let off, now it locks it in at 100%. So that is how you would set it up on a button push and it'll toggle on and off. We push it again, now it's back off. On and off. So now let's show you how to set up your LEDs here. So, and that's not going to work. So if we go down here to all RGB LEDs, and let's say we want them blue whenever it's toggled on. So let's save. It's only necessary to set this up on one or the other. Um, I found if you set it up on both, sometimes it gets a little glitchy. I've had no problems doing it this way. Okay, so now we can roll our throttle. We can see we are at 79%. We reach over, we hit afterburner. Now we have 100% and you have your LEDs to light up 
to show you that, hey, my afterburner is on. This is really nice to have. That way, at first glance, when you're flying around, um, you can see if your afterburner is on or off. So now we'll just hit B1 again, turn them off. And if you want to have a lot of fun with it, instead of going all, we can go to button one. And let's turn it blue again. And save. Okay, now you can see just button one is lit up here with the green button. And as you're flying around, once again, if we look up here, we're locked out, 79 tops. You push your button, switches to blue, and now we're at 100%. And off, and off. Let's switch back to 43 on our switch here. 43, we're going to set this as a on because it is now on a actual swoops wrong it is on a switch on so now what we did is we switched it back to switch t2 and we're going to leave the led alone save Okay, so now you can see we're at 100%, our switch is down. Oh, I, I did that backwards. But that's my bad here. This should be 44, not 43. Easy fix, easy fix. Okay, so now we have our switch down. See, we got an orange light here. Let's flip it up, back to blue, 100%, 79%. If we want all of them to light up, we can go here. Let's say we want them um, red for afterburner, save. switch our switch up there you have it 100 percent and all the lights are on switch it down and it's off so that is a couple different ways that you could set up your virtual afterburner detents let me switch back over into dcs and i will show you just how it works Okay, here we are back in the F-15C. So first thing I want you guys to do, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. It helps me out. That way I can keep doing videos for you guys for years and years and years to come. So let's switch back to our outside view here. I'm going to lean down. So we're sitting here cruising. I'll just show you here. Now I'm going to throttle all the way up. We have no afterburner, flip our switch, there's the afterburner. You can roll out of it, it works just like normal throttle, so if you want to just give it a little afterburner, you can, full afterburner, switch down, afterburner off. There's no extra settings involved within DCS, it's all set up in the actual controller, so it's, it's that simple. Hope you guys found this video useful. Once again, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will catch you guys on number three. Number three is going to be all the little buttons and LEDs and all the changes you can do there. Um, lots of fun stuff you can do. So stay tuned for that video. I'll have it out just as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.